And if you're wondering, the show that uh, denied us the opportunity to be nominated for a sports Emmy, baseball, MLB Tonight, ended up winning the sports Emmy. Whatever. No, no, come on. No, No, we're better than that. No, no. you might be. I'm not. (laughs) I'm not either. Whatever. I don't want to be a sore loser. (laughs) (laughs) I'd like to be a sore winner. I, I, I love to be a sore winner, but uh, it's about time. Like get up there and be a yeah. sore winner. Yeah. You should have voted for us before. <laughs> Man. Open bar. I confirmed. Yeah. Good for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Really happy for you. Then I, I looked at the, the page of everybody who gets a sports Emmy with MLB tonight. There's got to be 60 people that work on that show. Yeah. How many of them were working at a bait store four years ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan was. <laughs> isn't it? You know, that's, isn't it amazing though? That, that, that okay. The, the big German is trying to get people to help build out our man cave. He goes into a bait store, a fishing store, and he sees Dylan, and he hears this guy. Hey, he might lose his job here at the bait store. Uh, Maybe he could help you run cable. (laughs) So the big German hires Dylan to run cable. And then he eventually is getting us breakfast. And then all of a sudden he moves up the ladder. So now he's doing graphics here. I don't think he's ever done graphics. He never worked in TV. It's actually a more common career arc in television (laughs) than people realize. That old path. Fishing store, running cable graphics. It happens (laughs) And, More often and, and one of the hosts of a gambling show. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, Marvin, Marvin was running cable here as well. Yeah. You were a crew guy. I was here for the build. Yes. Correct. Yep. And all of a sudden I go, uh, I don't know, can Marvin stick around? We need somebody to help answer calls. And uh, so then he started there and then he's here for a while. McLovin leaves. Marvin sits in the chair. Crazy. Boom. There's only 12 of us. But if you look at the page of all these shows that we're up against, there's like 60 people who work on these shows. One more deserving than the other. Yeah. Yes, Paul. <laughs> With our mentality, <laughs> if we owned a fishing boat, we go to the local communication school to get deckhands. You know, that's, that's, we will take them from anywhere. Yeah. Whatever it takes. We're scrappy. <laughs> yeah, good we're, for you guys. Yeah, we're yeah. really happy yeah. for MLB yeah. tonight. Yeah. And you're, you're 60 people who work on the show. We're really, really happy for you. Yes. You can. I got to admit, though, I'm happier. Uh, well, not really, but it, it is awkward when you're there at the ceremony and you lose. Yeah. And there's a handful of winners walking around and dozens of losers walking. And they're all like, oh, we won. Yeah. And they're these big yeah. smiles. And everybody else is like, ah, oh, screw you guys. Yeah. Everybody's carrying their Emmy around. <laughs> and then they <laughs> like, plop, yeah, it, it. plop it down at the table oh. when you're. You know, having your uh, hors d'oeuvres after you've lost. Like the winners should go into a separate area yeah. and never be seen again. Yes. And just let the rest <laughs> of us losers all sit in the sit out in the lobby together. Like, ah, well, whatever. MLB and I won again. Of course they did. They should have a restaurant for winners yes. and then a <laughs> restaurant bar area for losers. Go ahead. Go to the VIP winners yeah. area, but don't come back here with the rest of us But losers. you would have, like, somber music over here yeah. while you'd be <laughs> hearing these people <laughs> celebrating next door. Yeah. Yelling and screaming, yes, Todd. As soon as that, 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 that. <laughs> oh, great. And then as soon as the winner in your category is announced, you see the loser slowly stand up. Excuse me, pardon me, as soon as you get out of the <laughs> aisle. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the winners don't go up, the losers just leave. Yeah. <laughs> they all going. Uh, I just I forget it. Not the- okay. <laughs> what is bad is when somebody who wins and they're in your aisle. Or in your row. Oh, had that. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. And you're up for the same award. And you want to trip them. And then Costas would go, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. You know what? They eventually put Bob right on the aisle. I got to start sitting on the aisle more. (laughs) No, but they eventually put Bob Costas on the aisle because, I mean, Bob's going to win. Let's just make it his path of least resistance up there. Yeah, Paul. A couple of years, I think our first year, they scattered us all over our seats. We just took whatever seat we could. And I sit next to these two guys from NBC who I did not know. They're producer types. And they win like the third category. They spent the whole night sitting there. He had it right next to me on his lap, the, the, yeah. the big Emmy, and we lost. It's okay. It's always next year. Come on, Todd. 
Sometimes you read into the seating. It's like, well, I'm a little closer to the stage than last year. Maybe this is the year. They don't want me to have a long walk all the way from the rafters. Maybe this is the one. No. One year I sat on the aisle. I am on this aisle, and right across from me is Bob. And Bob ended up winning the sports semi. Because I thought, you know, I'm right on the aisle. Okay. Easy access. You know something. There. Yeah. Not going to spend a lot of time walking, waiting for me to get up there. And then all of a sudden it's like, and the winner is. And then you, you start to lean out of your chair just to, just to, just to, t- is Bob Costas. And then you just drop back down and you're like, all righty, Bobby. Happy for you. Glad something went well for you in this business. Okay. We're just getting started here. Come on, get up. Get up. We get to do this. <laughs> Yes, Tom. Did you give the money sign to the people that uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the guys that bet on the uh, like the committee yeah, voting on like, it? Oh, like, oh, okay. Costas again! Yeah. I did that to Bob. What'd what you do? You, I'm Rudy Gobert when it comes to uh, all right, okay, Bob. Johnny this Manziel. is how you did all the Emmys. This is how what you okay. did. How much did this one cost? Yeah, yeah. Well, there have been networks accused of kind of uh, helping massage the voters. I think we're up against a break. Here, we should take a break. Absolutely. <laughs> Greg in Indiana. Hi, Greg. What's on your mind? Hey, Dan. Thanks for calling me back yeah. and giving me time to put my teeth in. Um, <laughs> I've got an idea for for your <laughs> sports Emmy and just kind of tweak the guys a little bit, change the dress code, upgrade it. Then here's the, here's the ball out of the park. Get your get today's recording artist, redo the song that's on uh, on Peacock, the Dan's House. Get Taylor Swift in there. Not only will you guys win a sports Emmy, you'll win a Grammy. How, Greg? How am I getting Taylor Swift? Hey, you're friends with Jason Kelsey. Um, that doesn't help me. I got to be better friends with Travis Kelsey, and then I got to go. To, hey, Travis. You know what I'm wondering? Maybe in a down moment, you and Tay Tay are just sitting around and you go, hey, I got something that's really funny. And then you get her to sing the theme song for the Dan Patrick show. Then we're going to win the sports Emmy. If we upgrade our wardrobe, we're going to win a sports Emmy. I don't think so. When you're watching on Peacock, we want to give you sort of the realization of you could do this too. Look at us. We're just regular guys, normal guys. Sometimes we'll wear our, our merchandise here. Yes, Todd? And that could actually backfire. The committee could be like, oh, because they're putting wearing sport jackets and ties now. They think we're going to vote for them because they got the, some celebrity to sing All right, how about this? You guys up for wearing a suit and tie tomorrow? Sure. All right. Todd? Definitely not. <laughs> Unless I could be convinced that that's going to somehow change our no, sports image. No, no, no. It's status. just one day. It's, it's I don't even want to wear that for Todd, one day. Todd, it's content. I prefer not to. I'd like to wear my Zubaz pants and my jerseys. I know. And- I would prefer to wear warm-ups. I'm asking you, can you wear a suit and tie tomorrow? I guess if we had to. I don't know how that helps the radio audience. Tom, that's not, that's not what I asked. You're asking us to vote, yes or no? So I'm, if I'm not a team player, if I say, nah, I don't, need, I don't want to be all uncomfortable. For yes, hour. that's how it works. I will go with not being a team player and wanting to wear my sweats. Because you can't fit in your suit. That is definitely part of the reason. <laughs> okay. Then especially just say the, that. Especially the neck on the I college know that. shirt is not going to Marvin, close. could you wear a suit? A suit, yes. A tie, no. <sighs> yeah, Paul. Open college, fine, Marv. That's yeah. business cash. Yeah. yeah. Fritzy, you could dust off the olive suit. We haven't seen that in a few years since I, the last uh, Sandler. Uh, damn, three P's. I'm going to have to find some rope to tie around the pants. <laughs> to... uh, I don't think three piece can uh, make an appearance. I don't yeah, think that's so. no piece. That's not closing <laughs> at all. Damn, three piece. All right, we gave it a shot. I thought, okay, maybe we could do this. We could get dressed up, just give them a different look. Yes, yeah, he see that people don't give us enough credit because we're actually all like brilliant and supremely talented. We dress very well. These are characters that we're playing. Well, this is all scripted. This is all right. We're actually, yeah, yeah. we should be winning. You know, Emmys for acting. Yes. And sports. Yes. But yeah. maybe we're just too good. Maybe we should bit to like a daytime Emmy. You know, the shows that are on during the day, like, uh, you know, Kelly Clarkson or Ellen or. Yes. Maybe, maybe. See, we're in the wrong. Kelly. Category. Yeah. Kelly Ripa. 
Yeah. Is she still doing a I think, uh, show, yeah, with, right? With her and, husband. Yeah, Mark Consuelos. Marcus Consuelo. Yeah. Um, Hot. How about that? That Maybe it's just a daytime Emmy. Dude, let's, how do we get in the daytime? What, I, what's I, with the sports bias? I, I, Why aren't we just daytime? Paulie, would you look in to maybe see what the fine print is? Yeah, I, I don't think you could apply or submit for both categories, daytime Emmy well, show. Then, I don't care about the sports Emmy right. anymore. I, I want a daytime Emmy. Let me look into it. Yeah, that'd be great. Daytime Emmy Awards. There's a lot of talent there at that. Yeah, uh, that you show. know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, hey, non-team player Todd, what how, you, what's on your mind? How funny would it be to beat the People's Court and Kelly Clarkson and they just announce all those? Yeah, it would be the so Dan funny. Show. Yeah, that'd be funny. Non-team player. Yes, yeah. Marv. Are the soap operas included in yeah. the daytime? Oh, let's go. Yeah. Oh, I'm being you, Victor Newman from The Young and the Restless. <laughs> Come on. Yes, Paul. Well, okay, so the 2024 daytime talk series nominees. This oh. is what we'd be up against. All right. Some heavy hitters here. Right. Tamron Hall, the Kelly Clarkson show, yeah. the Jennifer Hudson show, right. turning the tables with Robin Roberts, our good buddy. Okay. And of course, The View, always nominated. I, daytime oh. talk series. I think that would be us. Okay. We talk and it's daytime. Yeah. We can't take down Joy Behar and Whoopi. That'll never happen. Well, right. Speak for yourself. Show. Yeah. We're going for it. <laughs> Not to mention, I mean, there's two American Idol. Uh, Personalities that are like past winners. I don't know. Did Jennifer Hudson win? She should have won. She she did not. I, did, I don't she think didn't she won. Win. Did oh, she no. finish runner up? Is that Fantasia? Was that the year she won? Yeah. yeah. The Oscar winner didn't win American Idol. I know. <laughs> Who's Kelly Clarkson? Um, they got a real stranglehold on the daytime Emmys, too. Yeah. Okay. American Idol is just a juggernaut. Okay. Tuxedos tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. I'm wearing a suit I'm not tomorrow. afraid of the daytime it. Emmys. You know what? I'm closing out the last three and a half years looking good. Because the voters are going to go, what is this? When they see our resume reel here. Yeah. Can I transform in the next three and a half years into an employable person after this? <laughs> that's really the that's really the challenge right now. Is it starting now? Right now <laughs> I'm starting. I'm getting my five-year plan now for the next three years. Oh, real job. Let's All go. All right. All right. When I say I'm going to HR, they're like, oh, Dan? I was like, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah.